We celebrated last week the 80th anniversary of D-Day. And I've had the opportunity to be able to go there for the recognition of Normandy and had the chance to meet those who were able to hit the beaches. And for those of you that have had that opportunity, you recognize the tremendous bravery and courage of those who were willing to hit those beaches and put their life on the line for our country. That kind of courage is incredible. And it tells us a lot about the real strength of this country. I know, uh, as Secretary, my time in the Congress, I know we try to provide the best military equipment we can to our military, and we do. It's, uh, it's some of the most sophisticated weaponry in the world. But it wouldn't be worth much without the bravery of the warriors who serve this country. It's the men and women in uniform that are willing to go out there and fight and die for our country that are really the great strength of America. <laughs> Look, we're living at a pivotal time. This is a dangerous time. Make no mistake about it. I have never seen as many flashpoints in the world since World War II. It's a world in which the United States has to provide world leadership. Because if the United States does not provide world leadership, nobody else will. That's the reality. And so we need to provide that leadership. We need to be a strong country. We need to have the strongest military on the face of the earth. And we have to be willing to invest in what makes a strong military. Our ability to succeed at developing technology is critical to our national security. And that's why it's absolutely critical that we do everything we can in order to make sure that we are competitive. We've got to bring the academic side together with the private sector, together with the active duty personnel. That synergy is critical. And that synergy is what the Navy Postgraduate School is all about. And that's why it's even more important that we work together to establish a Naval Innovation Center at the Navy Postgraduate School. That is going to be key to the ability of the United States and our military to be able to stay on the cutting edge of technology. That innovation center is going to be a treasure because it's a place where you bring together the academic part of the military, the private sector, Silicon Valley, and then put it together with the active duty military that are there, that understand the needs that are involved in the military. So that synergy is critical to our national security. And that's why we're here, is to make sure that we continue to devote ourselves and dedicate our investment to achieving that goal. Despite the challenges that we're facing, I believe in American leadership. This country has been through crisis after crisis. We've been through a civil war. We've been through two world wars. We've been through recessions and depressions. We've been through tough times. And the reason I believe we can do it is not so much because our strength is in Washington. Our strength is in the American people. It's in all of you, in your spirit, in your willingness to do what is necessary to protect our country, in your common sense, in your resilience, in your dedication. Look, our Constitution begins with the words, we the people. We the people. And it means that all of us have to be leaders in our democracy. 
And all of us have to be willing to fight to make sure our democracy survives.